continuing my quest for River Team Barbel and Chubb and a full 48 hours after catching my personal best barbel of £12.4. And we'll see what this swim can bring. I've already cast the downstream rod out with three 8mm halibut pellets on a hair rig, one ounce lead. So, give the upstream rod a cast and this is my standard one ounce lead and a piece of meat on a hair rig. Watch out for the overhanging trees. So just launch this one across down towards that willow on the far side. As you can see I'm quite high up off the river. There's a couple of steps down to the river itself. But it's very very awkward down there. There's just enough room to actually stand to give a cast. Fire a couple of pouchfuls of hemp and three millimetre halibut pellets just to prime the swim. And something's caught my attention. Thought it was a maganza, but I think it's a female mandarin duck. Just uh, wait for the tip to go round. The left hand rod is in the channel close to the bank, down towards the willows, while the right hand rod is about two thirds of the way across. I'm sitting in here patiently waiting for a bite. And my patience is rewarded as the rod hoops over, the bait runner screams off. And I'm into a fish. And this is definitely a barbel. Feels quite big, so take it steady. It's pulling really strongly. And I don't want to lose this one. Keep the pressure on. Keep pumping the rod. It's gradually coming upstream, gaining line bit by bit, so Hopefully we'll get this one in. Just manoeuvre the rod below the left hand one. But the fish feels like it's snagged. Yeah, this has gone solid. And it's definitely snagged. Just try to Put a little bit of pressure on it for the time being, see if I can get it out of the snag. Change the angle a little bit to see if that'll shift it. Let some line out. See if it'll swim out on its own. Because quite often that's what happens. Just let them swim out of the snag by themselves. No, that tactic hasn't worked, so think about what to do next. Keep putting pressure on and then releasing line. Repeat that. See if that tactic is more successful. Keep changing the angle on it. Pulling. Releasing. So that tactic hasn't worked. So I have to resort to a different strategy. I've reeled the left hand rod in now moved it to one side and I'm going to have to climb down into the river luckily it's fairly shallow and it's on a mudstone shelf and I've got my wellies on so I'll wade down about 15 meters or so try and get below the fish and see if I can release it that way Can't think of any other way of trying to get this barbel out without perhaps pulling for a break and that potentially leaves a hook in its mouth and I certainly don't want to be doing that. 
So I think this is my only real option. I've managed to wade down as far as I can get now, in line with the willow. And I'll put some pressure on and see if I can get the barbel to swim out of the snag downstream and then release itself and we can recommence the fight and hopefully land the fish. Well that tactic seems to have worked and the barbel has definitely swum out from the snag and it feels like it's free now and it's starting to swim upstream so I'll try and make tracks back along gingerly along the bank and catch up with the fish as it swims upstream. Well, so far this has been a very precarious and heart-thumping episode, so I'll take it nice and steady. And get into position by grabbing the net and staying in the river to land this big barbel, which I've just caught a glimpse of. net in the water and bring the barbel downstream steadily towards the net. Well, typically barbel don't want to go in. They always seem to make lunges and runs as they get closer to the net. Try bringing it back a second time. comes again. Not today. Mm, is it in the net? Oh, um, yeah. There it goes into the net. Oh, I'm glad that's sorted. And this is a really big barbel, but kind of recognize it. I think I've caught this one before. And we'll leave it in the net, in the river, for a while, and uh, let it recover. the rod to one side before unhooking it. The barbel's still in the river. Get back down. And check it out. Spike the fight it looks quite strong. I'll leave it for a bit longer before unhooking it.
strong enough now. No. I'll try and unhook it. Okay, so I've unhooked it. Bring it up, clamber back up the river bank. Unhooking mat and show it to the camera. And there it is. And I've definitely caught this one before. Very distinctive looking. Slight damage to the tail, two tone colour. And I know the weight of this, so I didn't bother re weighing it. So check out previous video having clambered down the bank and rested the barbel for several more minutes it's time to let it go and away it swims very strongly none the worse for its second capture thanks for watching and I hope you really enjoyed the video so watch out for more videos to come